All right, going to this breaking overnight. Authorities combing for clues this morning after responding to a crime alert in Pompano Beach. Deputies surrounding this area spending hours set up in that neighborhood. Local 10's Trent Kelly has been following this from the start. And he's joining us now live from the scene with the latest trend. Do we know exactly what happened? Well, we did get some new information from deputies a short time ago. Alex and Andrew, they tell us they are now working this as a double shooting. In fact, they tell us one of the victims in this case died at the hospital overnight. The second victim, we're told, still there receiving treatment. But right behind me, you can see the street where all of this happened still being blocked off by investigators as they continue to collect evidence. Let's show you what it looked like overnight when our cameras first arrived. Deputies responding to a home here along Northwest 4th Street and 23rd Avenue in Pompano Beach around 1145 last night, right after someone called to report a shooting. By the time they got here, deputies found two people who appeared to have been shot. Both, we know, were taken to the hospital. One victim later died. The other, we're told, is still there receiving treatment. All morning long, we have watched as detectives from the Broward County Sheriff's Office have been searching this area for clues, looking for any items that could help lead them back to the shooter in this case. Now, at this point, the motive for all of this still unclear. No arrests so far have been made here. BSO now saying their homicide unit will continue to investigate this incident. This case, by the way, they say remains active and ongoing. Back out here at the scene, we did see some deputies uh, begin to take up some of the police tape indicating that they may uh, be getting ready to leave the scene here in a few moments. At this point, neither the names nor the ages of those two victims in today's uh, or in last night's shooting incident have been released. We will continue to work with deputies and try to get some more information on what happened here and the condition of that one victim who's still in the hospital. For the latest on this case, follow me on social media. I'll post updates on my uh, social sites at Trent Kelly WPLG. For now, we're live in Pompano Beach. Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.